Hi, in this tutorial we'll look at two of the main drawing tools, the pencil tool and the pen tool. First of all, the pencil tool. The pencil tool is a freehand drawing tool for drawing lines on your page. It works in a similar way to the paintbrush tool. It's really simple to use as you simply select your line width and colour and then just click and drag to create your strokes. If you use a graphics tablet, the lines created with the pencil tool will use the pressure sensitivity to control the width of the line. You can edit your lines at any time at a later date using the node tool. We'll go into more detail about editing lines later in this tutorial. Next, we have the pen tool. This is probably the single most important tool in DrawPlus. It's not the easiest tool to master, but with practice, you can draw almost anything with a pen tool. Unlike the pencil, you can't just click and drag to create a line with the pen tool. Instead, it works almost like a connect the dots tool. You place the dots on nodes, and DrawPlus draws the lines between. You have complete control by editing the nodes. It might sound complicated, but it's really not once you get the hang of it. You can control the type of line drawn by the pen tool by changing the various settings in the context toolbar. The first thing to choose is the type of line segment you want. By default, Smart Segments is selected. This is a good selection to use while you are learning, although it's not as powerful as Smooth Segments. More on these in a moment. With Smart Segments selected, I just click once to place each node on the page and DrawPlus draws a line of best fit to join the nodes together. As you can see, I can close the shape by clicking on my starting node when a small circle shows next to the pen cursor. With line segments selected, the nodes are connected with straight lines. The smooth segments are slightly different. If you simply click to place nodes, you'll get similar results to the line segments. However, if you click and drag, you can set the direction of the line, producing entirely different results. If you want to draw a simple line and not create a closed shape, simply finish the line by pressing Escape. So then, once you've drawn a line with a pen tool, how do you edit it? Editing lines is done with the Node tool. With your line selected, Drag on a segment to change the shape of the segment. Notice that the other segments update to retain a smooth curve. You can change this behaviour by changing the node type. Click to select a node. Notice that it now displays control handles. On the context toolbar, I can click to select an alternative corner type. When you next drag on the segment, the line now behaves differently. You can also change the shape of the line by dragging directly on the control handles themselves. There's so much more to the pen tool, but let's move on to an example so that you can see some of this in a real world situation. I'm now going to trace this picture of my guitar. It's actually a really useful shape to explain the different corners and segment types. To set the start of the line, I click and drag, and then click and drag at a point where the curve starts to change direction. At the next point, I need to make quite a dramatic change. This is where the modifier keys become really useful. I can click and drag in the normal way, but before I release the mouse button, I press and hold the control key. This locks the furthest side of the curve and allows me to adjust the current node. You can see that I can make it much shorter to allow the line to curve the way I want it to. I can now continue as before. The neck of the guitar is a straight line. If I press and hold the ALT key as I place the next node, it will create a sharp corner. Of course, we can always change the node type by editing the line later. I just continue to place the nodes around the outline until I reach my first node.
Then, when I see the circle appear next to the pen cursor, I click once to close the shape. Now, I can edit any curves that don't quite fit my shape with the node tool. One thing to remember when using the pen tool is that it really does take practice, but once you've mastered it, you'll never look back. To end this tutorial, I'll show you the example of my finished guitar. This is created almost entirely with the pen tool, the only exception being the pickups and the circular elements, as it was much easier to use quick shapes for these. If you need more information, see the How To tab, Draw Plus Help, or our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.